Alright, hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. Today I just want to talk about two things that I've observed tinkering around with the Blackmagic app uh, in the last few days, which I've been spending a lot of the time in there. Uh, first of all, let's, let's switch to this view right here and I'm going to click a few click a few things here. Um, I've just assumed that the maximum number of cameras that you can remotely control in the Blackmagic camera app is four. Um, that's all I've ever seen in any of the promotional material from Blackmagic. I've never had more than four iOS devices in, in my studio, but I just, I, uh, Happened to get an older iPhone in my in my studio here, and I just installed Blackmagic on it, and uh, so that gave me five things. And uh, so what, I was like, "What would happen if you clicked clicked one of these?" I'm gonna turn this one on and turn this one on, and boom! It's like, no, it, I've got six things, and it sure looks like I could do three more. I don't know what would happen if I did more than that. So. So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, if you've been assuming that it's four, give it a shot. It might be helpful to somebody. Let's go back to our four up. And, and I'm going to head over to settings here. And a couple of things. First of all, we need to switch to the device that we're actually controlling. So it's this iPad. And um, I noticed um, in a recent video by Epic Tutorials that he mentioned the live stream feature here. And I can't remember if he just, if he was on an iOS device or if he was just telling us that on the Android devices, there are more options here than the Blackmagic Cloud. There's actually YouTube and a few other destinations. So that just that in itself got my wheels turning. It's like, hmm, you know, it's like kind of I'm kind of eagerly waiting to see what they do when they once they bring that feature over to the to iOS. Um, but then I, it's really got me going when I, I was went over to the monitor section here, and I was, you know, of course for all the cameras that I have hooked up um, to this. I've gone into the HDMI out and changed it from mirror display to video feed. And I, and maybe some of you have done this, but I, I, I haven't done this before on the controller. And so I was like, what's going to happen if I click that? It's like, it's going to let me do it. So went ahead and did it. And it is letting me, um, let's go ahead and get out here. And I'm going to switch over to a different view. In fact, let me, let me go ahead and just click here. So what's happening is it's displaying whatever camera I have selected in the remote app. So um, let's I'm gonna, and it, you know if I if I was full screen on that, so that would be this right here, and then it's like a full sixteen by nine, and it's like whoa, that's that's just too cool. So I don't know, is this in sync? I think it might be, so I'm not sure. Um, it might not, you know what, that would be something. Let's switch over to, I need to switch over to another view so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, let's do this. So here's, here's what I'm seeing on the iPad. What you're seeing is whatever camera is currently highlighted. So let's switch over to this. And let's see if this is in sync or not. Um, audio sync. I haven't thought about that. So this is, um, of course, the audio is in sync with my ATEM. This could be part of the reason why this is not a live feature yet. So there would need to be potentially some kind of audio delay. Um, maybe not, because what I'm doing is I'm using I'm using audio into my ATEM and I've got a delay set there, but maybe if I, I maybe, ooh, that's just, now, now I've got a lot of questions. It's like, is it going to be switching to 
different audio uh, for each camera. Or maybe I could have audio hooked up to uh, the audio hooked up to the iPad that would then go into the live stream or the switch or what the switcher or whatever. So, so anyway, I just thought that was very cool. Whatever, whatever you do here, let's go ahead and switch back over here. If I go into uh, the zoom feature, for instance, and click on one X, it's going to, it's going to do that in the, I'm going to call that the program out. Um, if I switch to a different quadrant, it's going to be switching to that camera. Um, there is kind of a black, a blackout feature, so that could be another reason why we're not seeing anything. But I've just been, you know, just been thinking. It's like, uh, let's go, let's go actually to this view so you can see some audio that's in sync. Uh, just been thinking, what are these guys up to? Surely they don't want to cannibalize the two hundred ninety nine dollar Atom. But this is kind of working out to be a, a little switcher. You could, uh, let's go back to, let's, let's go over to this view right here. Um, if, let's just say that this, we'll go back to this, and I don't think this is in sync, but if this was, this is my program out, if this was going to something like OBS, I know OBS has the ability to, delay audio. So you could output the HDMI into, uh, into, you know, do a video capture into a PC or a Mac, use OBS and get the, get the delay working. So anyway, if there's anybody out there that doesn't have a switcher yet, this is a potential possibility. And uh, we'll switch back over to this one. There also is a slight difference in the way it does i'm switching between the actual view of the 12 pro max here to the output from the switcher so there's a difference in the way it handled the outputs the color anyway i thought this was very cool um and uh maybe somebody else will too if you got any thoughts oops uh if you got any thoughts comments um, you know where to put them. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and have a good day. Um, actually, one more, th one more thing. Um, if Black Magic happens to be looking, um, this is an iPad Air M2, and when I, this has the portrait camera. When I go to the front camera, it's upside down. So that's just, it's, it's fine with the back, the back camera. But when I go to the front, it does not, uh, it's upside down. And also this particular iPad does not have a wide camera. So it freaks out when I click this. So something's, something's off with that.